G'day guys and welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'll be showing you my $450 Volkswagen Polo 6N Here it is guys, the $450 VW Polo 6N. This car I bought for, as I said, $450. Um, not in the greatest shape. Um, this is in fact the open air model, which it does kind of have a rip there, but that's all gonna get sorted out. The, the main problem at the moment is the roof and the bonnet. Generally, yeah, the bonnet, because obviously that takes up a lot of the space, so it's kind of not as bad as the bonnet. Um, the previous owner put some 15 inch wheels on it. Um, I kind of want to change them because I really, I don't know, you know, I'm not into this type wheel. Um, and the back goes like this. So not, the newest car, not the prettiest car, but I've always wanted just to buy one. Um, and as you guys know, my car is automatic, so I wanted to buy something manual and, you know, just drive it around uh, to shorter distances. The inside is not that bad. Like from outside, it is a very small car, but it's not as bad as you would think. Um, as you can see though, very, very dirty. Um, not the cleanest car, but obviously that's all going to get sorted out. This is going to get a good wash and a nice clean. Um, and in my next video, I'm actually going to remove all the seats and show you guys, you know, how to deep clean a car properly. The back, if I can open it, no. The back looks something like this which is not too bad. Obviously, safety was, this wasn't the greatest car, but it is not bad, like it's pretty deep. Um, and it also does have the spare wheel. Oh, I've just seen that now. Um, I wonder what he was pulling with that. And there's just a rug. Oh, that's shit, that's still, that's still wet. Um, yeah, so this is what you kind of do get for $450. But as I said, that's fine. Um, we'll put some gloves on and start cleaning this car out. Um, one of the, as I said at the start, one of the main features of this car is the roof anyway. Um, I do think in 1998, them doing something like this and it being electric as well, you know, is super cool. And, and that's kind of why I wanted this car. I'll just kind of quickly demonstrate to you guys if we can get the car on. Here we go, and you kind of just press this button. And as you press it, there we go. And in, you know, in summer, you know, opening that roof all the way is I think super, super cool. You know, and as I said, in that time, it probably was, 10 times cooler than it is today but i still do think you know it was a it was a great find by vw to do something like this the engine is a 1.68 valve and i'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken we only got this petrol option um for the 6n the 6n2 got the 1.4 16 valve um i'm pretty sure in europe these even come in one liters um, and then they come in 1.2s even, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure Australia did get the 1.9 turbo diesel uh, engine. 
um, which would be a blast if I can actually get my hand on one of those. Probably the better engine because it actually won't die. Um, as we do know, you know, that Volkswagen 1.9 engine is pretty good. But as a petrol engine, the 1.6, you know, isn't too bad. Um, similar components to the Golf 1.6, the Mark IV. So not a bad engine. Um, the car doesn't weigh too much, maybe a tad over a thousand kilos um, because this obviously is the open air version um, which does add a little weight but all around that now a good car for 450 dollars and it's currently may um, may i'm pretty sure i think it's the 16th today um, and it has registration till the end of june i think the 28th or something like that and in Australia, a three month rego is, you know, $200 anyway. So I've already, you know, won. So the plans I have for this car actually is, I kind of do want to make it a little more fun to drive. Um, maybe we'll do suspension. I don't know if I should do, you know, a good set of, you know, IBAC springs or ST suspension springs, something like that, or, should I put it on really cheap coilovers? Because I'm not looking to spend too much, too much money on it. But I do want to get it to, you know, a good state that it's actually fun to drive. You know? And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Stay safe, guys. See you later.